Hey, Google Workspace and Cloud Identity Admins. This is Goldie again. In this video, let's talk about how you can secure your WordPress website administration via Google uh, Beyond Corp. This might be helpful, especially if you're using uh, WordPress for your website and simultaneously you're using Google Workspace uh, Enterprise Plan or maybe you have Beyond Corp of, or if you have just Google Cloud, which comes with Identity Web Proxy. Okay. Before I show you the configuration and a live demonstration of how you can secure it, let me help you understand how it will work in different scenarios. So that's the first scenario where you have your WordPress website hosted on Google Compute Engine. If that's the case, you will need to have a global uh, load balancer in place. Now, uh, specifically with WordPress, as you know, it's not... Uh, it's not headless, like it, it has combined the front end and back end. So it becomes a bit hard uh, to differentiate. And that's where we will be uh, leveraging uh, routing rules in, in uh, load balancer. And we will create two separate backends, but we will point both of these backends to the same uh, instance group that is uh, hosting the machine or the machines uh, where, where our WordPress uh, website is running. Uh, for the front end, we can, you know, because it's a front end, anybody should be able to access it. But if you prefer or it's recommended, you may also turn on cloud armor so that you get protected from things like, you know, DDoS or SQL injection or cross-site scripting. Uh, and also you may be able to uh, put some IPs or geographic locations in your, you know, restricted or block list so that uh, these uh, IPs or geolocations cannot access your website might be helpful in some case where people are keep bothering you by commenting on your posts or filling up form uh, just to bother you so that might help there okay now the back end uh, which will be accessed only by our WordPress admins we can secure it via identity where proxy in case if you do not have Google Workspace, Enterprise, or Beyond Corp subscription, you can simply apply uh, IAP or Identity by Proxy, which will let you secure with user location and geographic, uh, user IP address and geographic location. In case if you have Google uh, Workspace Enterprise uh, subscription, which comes with context of access, you can even go one step further, you can apply uh, device-based and uh, browser-based and partner signals-based uh, policies on this IAP endpoint. And then in case if you have Beyond Corp uh, license, then you can also say users should not be able to upload or download any sensitive data from, uh, from or to our WordPress website. Okay, and then based on that context, user would be able to access it uh, access the backend or not okay then this one is is more when you have a, a web, wordpress website hosted with a shared uh, web host so wordpress natively does not support saml but there are some plugins i i observed you may install uh, one of those whichever you like and then uh, that plugin will detect whether it's a request for front end then obviously user will be able to or the visitor will be able to access the site right away but in case if the request comes for backend you may do the setting in this plugin so that as soon as the request comes for wp backend you will be redirected to google which is acting as your identity provider in this case uh, because you have uh, wordpress configured as saml application and then, of course, uh, because now Google is acting as IDP at the login time, Google will evaluate the context before sending the SAML response back to WordPress based on the context uh, uh, policies that you have in place. And user will or will not have access to the WordPress admin login page. Okay, so with that, let me show you a few things here. So for uh, first of all, if I go to my security and context of access, you will see that I have a few access levels, but I'm leveraging this one to make it uh, easy to demonstrate, uh, which essentially says that request must come from uh, US as a, as a geographic location. And the device uh, should be either Chrome browser managed or profile managed. Then uh, I have assigned it 
to my uh, WordPress application, which I configured over at SAML. So I said, this policy is in place if somebody is trying to access WordPress. And then I gave access to this WordPress app to a, to a group. And this is running uh, on Google Compute Engine uh, Linux machine. And first, let me show you uh, the load balancer that I have here. So this load balancer, if I click on edit, uh, you know, I have my uh, IP mapped with, uh, and I'm using uh, uh, my own managed uh, cert here. But if you look at backend, which is interesting in WordPress because it's not headless, uh, I have two backend. One is called frontend and one is called backend. So when I click on frontend, you will see that it is mapped to the instance group called WP backend uh, instance group. And uh, okay, and it also has the blocked IP uh, cloud armor security policy. Okay, that's for front end. And uh, if I go for back end, you will see that though there is a separate uh, back end service for this, but it is still pointing to the same uh, instance group that is hosting my WordPress virtual machine. And the reason behind that is. Uh, because WordPress is like you can't differentiate uh, the back end and front end. So uh, what I try to do here is uh, create two uh, services, point to the same instance. And then within routing rules, I'm saying in case if, if the request comes for anything, then redirect uh, or send it to the front end. But in case if the request comes for WP login, which is the administration page for WordPress, then send it to uh, WP backend. Now I do understand in WordPress, you can do some workarounds to change your WP uh, admin login page, et cetera. So that's out of the scope of this video. Of course, you can be uh, very creative here by creating rules and you can go with advanced uh, host and path rules to make it even more granular, okay? So that's there. And then uh, if I go to, I just wanted to show you this. I have uh, this policy for uh, Cloud Armor, which essentially says all IPs or you know everybody can access this website, but this IP cannot access it. And the, if the request comes from Canada, then user or visitor should not be able to uh, access uh, this uh, this website. Okay, so now let's go to uh, security and identity bear proxy, and here you will see that front end uh, is, is not going via the IAP because uh, front end should be applicable to all the users. And as you know, you cannot apply uh, conditions uh, to all users as a principle. So that's why I've disabled it because Cloud Armor is doing the job there. But for WP backend, so if you see here, uh, I have this, uh, WP uh, admin group, uh, that's that's where I've applied this use Chrome within US policy. And uh, if I go to WP admins, you will see that there is just one member, uh, which is myself here. So now let's do a quick piece of demonstration. First, we want to see the front end, which is protected by Cloud Armor. So. For that, you see this instant, it's running in uh, Canada. So if I, for example, go to Chrome here and I say, what is my IP? You will see that the location here is Canada, okay? And I should not be able to access uh, my front end uh, because that's the Cloud Armor policy that we have created. So if I go to WordPress, uh, dot .com. it says sorry you cannot access it okay so this is working fine now let's go to the browser that's based in United States but it is Safari okay so I should be able to access the website because it's the request is coming from United States so cloud armor should let me access the front end and I see the front end here but if I click on WP admin console uh, and by the way, if I just hover on that and copy the link, uh, just to save some time, I created this menu item. But essentially, so this uh, we have defined in uh, routing rules and load balancer that this should go 
uh, via the IAP, okay? So when I click on Admin Console, it takes me to the IAP login page, and let me uh, first select this, and let me enter the password, though you know uh, that this user should have access, uh, because uh, this user is part of WP admin groups. However, this user is coming from Safari, so I'm expecting this user to not have access, and that's the result. So what I'm going to do is copy the troubleshooting URL and then go back to my uh, Cloud Console here to show you the result. Okay, so it says not granted and let's investigate and when i investigate you will see that the origin uh, was united states so that passed however the device management uh, we are saying profile managed or uh, browser managed and that wasn't the case because we came from safari so it couldn't identify the browser and at last we will go to uh, a virtual machine uh, that's right there and if you see that's the managed uh, machine okay so now i'll try to go to that same website here okay and uh, the front end should be fine because the request came from us so i can see the front end and now when i click on admin console uh, this is protected by iap but behind the scenes i am already uh, a managed uh, user so when I click on WP admin console now it does show me the login uh, option now in case if you are a Google uh, workspace or cloud identity customer another option here on this specific screen uh, that you can enable a single sign-on with Google as your identity provider so that you should be able to disable this native uh, login so as soon as somebody tries to access this specific admin login page that person is redirected to uh, google as idp okay i couldn't enable this feature because the plugin that i'm using i think it's called mini orange uh, it has some paid subscription to do that so but i can still show you at least the manual uh, samples so when i click on login with google workspace uh, i had the session behind the scene so now it just got that session and it logged me inside uh, my WordPress uh, admin dashboard. And this is the plugin that I'm, and, um, I'm using. And of course, not watching for the plugin. I had limited interaction with this um, and it worked uh, fine for whatever use case that I had. If you want, maybe I'll do a separate video on how to configure Google as your identity provider for WordPress. So do uh, keep an eye for that. Now, the last scenario would be that you have your WordPress website running outside Google, but you still want to leverage Google uh, Cloud Armor to the filtering and send you the filter traffic. That should be possible. I recently learned about uh, how it, it can be made possible. So I might uh, need to do this configuration and come back to you in the next video just to cover that specific scenario. For now, I think these two scenarios might have been helpful a bit. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, uh, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.